does, never mind Jay Book, you can find it on YouTube. The link is in my bio. Bert and Jordan, what's up, kid? Bro, Len and Lonnie. Nice name, lad. Tell us the story, guys, of how you tried to get shot. How you tried to get shot. <laughs> how the fuck did I try and get shot, lad? <laughs> did they run around and go, yo, shoot me? Bert and Jordan, my mentor. Choose a life, not a knife. Come from when you went to do something bad, your phone ping. There you go, brother. Look, look the hashtag up. Look at the date on that hashtag. Mentor me, Daz. Teach me how to work the graft. John Smith, I'll slap your bird's ass so hard you'll be on the prison yard, kid. You won't know what's going in it or what's coming out of it. Don't be getting cheeky on here. Yes, DJ Filst. Nice to have you back on board, bro. Crads1187. Ryan Sexton. I'm on, kid. I'm on. Slime Life. Lord of Gal. Mikhail Collins from Whitehaven. What else can we find in your bio? Amy McKevy. Whatever you want, lad. Jake Darby's in from Salford. What happened to that Ali Frostbird? She's disappeared there. Who, lad? That fucking punter from Birkenhead who dances on Gary's every night. She's <laughs> probably been put in jail for grafting, kid. Edith Bradley, wishing you the very best of luck, Darren. Thank you, Sonia. That feeling is mutual. Let's hope Till wins. He's going to win. Come on, how many setbacks has he had through injuries and he's been ready for them fights? I don't think Till gets the credit he deserves in the city of Liverpool or the country simply because he, who he mixes with. That's it. That's it. If him and his trainer, Colin fucking thing, yo, shut shop and focused and, and, and fucked off, he'd be loved ten times more. <laughs> Obviously, it is what it is. Darren Till can fucking fight. Don't let... Te- Just go and watch. Even when he's being defeated, his defeats have been nasty. You know, they haven't been light-hearted, have they? I think, has he been submitted once? But even when you get submitted, mate, the art of submission, people always criticise wrestlers. When you when you can't punch no more, you're going to the fucking floor. So if you haven't got a knockout punch or you haven't got a fucking bit of common sense and you're head out to use your fist, you're ending up on the deck and that's where shit gets messy. Why? Because half of are straight boxers. <laughs> Half of you are just straight boxers. You're coming in, you defend, attack, defend, attack. When you go on the deck, you're getting tied up like a ribbon. <laughs> you haven't got a clue what's going on. A little bend on your shin, you're in pain. Your shin's never took a fucking bit of impact on it. You're on it. All of a sudden, you've got a shin that's been in the game for the past 10 years, hitting trees, hitting table legs in prison, coming out to your fucking thigh. <laughs> <laughs> Trust me, not going to be nice for you straight-hearted boxers out there. Go and get yourself in an MA gym, even if it's just to prepare yourself to the future. Because I think you can all see people, boxing's being destroyed right before your fucking eyes. Boxing is being destroyed right before your fucking eyes, lad. Like. The integrity that boxing has held for the last 50, 100 years, you know, it was, a, it was a selective group that managed to get into the high fold of boxing. So you had, you know, you had to be real, you had to go through the channels, you had to pop up these levels, you had to get up the charts, you had to win titles, win belts, you had to go into promoters, you had to sign contracts, you had to do all this shit. In the past two years, it's just been pissed on. <laughs> You got some little nuggets. What was his name? KSI and Jake Paul. You had them two fucking little faggot YouTubers. Hey, I can punch harder than you. They managed to fucking get this fight on. And since that, everyone is just tapping into boxing and wrecking the integrity of it. And I don't give a fuck if you don't like what I'm saying now. I'm not even a big high-class boxing fan. 
but I know about it. And I'm telling you straight, it's lost its integrity with through what's going on. You've got the likes of this fucking Dazen and these fucking IFL and they're just criminal organisations destroying the sport of boxing to get as much revenue and financial gain out of it. It's fucking messy. Simple as that. All the boxers, the real boxers, the ones with integrity, need to start aligning themselves to the organisations that are not funding criminal empires on the side. There is, there is organisations out there that promote sports and give you every best boxing match out there. But they're not linked to the criminal, criminal organisations like MTK and the Kinians and so forth. You're on it. And how they're entertaining them. How the fuck they're entertaining these YouTubers and letting them get away for it. I mean, what licence boards around the fucking world are saying, yeah, that's sweet to go ahead. Who's on these license boards and all, who on now? Because they haven't got a fucking clue. They obviously haven't got the sport of boxing in heart, have they? They haven't got the sport of boxing in heart. These people that are signing licenses off so these YouTubers can fight on big platforms as if it's a real boxing match, it's fucking ridiculous. They're just, just Anyway, that's my point. On boxing, the integrity of boxing is being pissed on by groups of horrible rats who know exactly what they're doing and don't give a shit. I will get in the ring with any so called fucking YouTuber and break them down, but they can't be doing it on a criminal organization platform like IFL, MTK, Dazen. Things like that. You can't be, you know, if you want to have a fucking scrap with me, let's do it together. Rub our noses together. We don't need no big fucking promoters to come in and drain the fucking dough through advertisements. Me and you can put our heads together, set it up anywhere. People will just watch it on video. You don't need to do all this live boxing events. Me and you, Jim, record it, ba bam bam bam. Bang it on the fucking thing. You don't even want dough for it. You're on it. Any revenue that comes in off it goes straight to choose a life, not a knife. All of it. Bert and Jordan, let me fight Jake Paul. Jake Darby. I will not fight a criminal who's disabled. It's not fair, mate. It's not fair in me. Why? Because I've come so far staying away from dirty... Coke sniffing, perverted minded old men. Why would they want to start taking steps back and engaging with them where they're going to make a lot of money for criminal organisations? Doesn't make sense, bro. Ragga canine, Chinese red dog. There's no such thing as luck, mate. No such thing as luck. When people say be lucky, or I hope you've got all the luck in the world, it doesn't matter where you're from. In my opinion, there's no such thing as fucking luck. It's not lucky that your dad built that house around you when you was born and fucking rigged your room out and give you fucking everything you needed to grow up. WRJ Trades, he's just a snow cork and steroid abuse and rat. And you're going to see him get stoved because he's a rat. He probably won't even have to fight, trust me. He's just there for clickbait. Now then, lad, you create your own luck, that's it. But it's not luck, is it, mate? If you're, if you're creating things, it's not luck. It's purposely done. You're purposely creating a path for yourself. Obviously.